Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella, if it's your first time here, welcome. Hello, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you. It's just really, really pretty. Um, I actually had a few requests on Instagram to do one of the um, looks I did on my Instagram and I used this Rendezvous palette so I basically just recreated it for you guys, explained basically how I did, how I did, how I did it. So yeah, I think that's it for my little spiel intro. Um, you know, if you guys like me, just subscribe, you know, maybe if you're feeling it. And you know what? I'm going to stop talking, so let's just get into the video. Before I get into my eyes, I think I'm going to do my face makeup first. So I'm going to start with some moisturizer. I'm using the Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. I love this stuff. I've talked about it in other videos, but it's just so good. And I love the way it makes my face feel so hydrated. And we love that, so... I love this stuff. And I started doing something a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but like around my mouth, like from like here to here is like just kind of like discolored a little bit. It's just not cute and I just hate it. So I'm actually going to go in with a concealer. I actually just picked this up, so I'm not sure if I'm going to love it. I picked up two e.l.f. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. I, I picked up two e.l.f. concealers because I feel like I always hear about e.l.f. lately and everyone's like raving how they're like really on the come up. So I wanted to get the um, e.l.f. camo concealer, but I don't think the store I went to had that. So... I picked up the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer, which is this one, and then I don't really know what this one is. It's just, I don't know. But, so I'm going to go in with this, this one because this one's more my skin tone, and I just like to put that around where I feel it's a little discolored. And I started doing this like a week ago and I liked the way that it looked under my foundation. I mean, I didn't use this concealer, but I wanted to try this one out. So, and then I just put it around my nose area. And then I'm just going to pick up a brush and I'm just going to blend all that out lightly, very, very lightly more so just like the edges but I don't know why my skin is like that I feel like it, it's, it was never like that before but it's just pulling the switch up on me so but that's fine nothing a little concealer can't correct so for foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And again, I'm just going to be using a brush. This is by Morphe. And I'm going to use that to blend everything in. I've been liking a brush way better than a beauty blender as of like three days ago. So I don't really know, but... I just have been really liking the application. I don't know why this like hurts. This is like a really soft brush, but and I like to start at the bottom and then work my way up. And then when I get close to like the under eye, I just like pat that in. So now that everything is even, I think we need to do a little bit of highlighting. So I'm going to go in with that other e.l.f. concealer that I bought. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. It's super small. 
and I just I don't like that I think cuz I'm used to the um, Too Faced Born this way and the applicator is like huge even the Tarte Shape Tape that applicator is huge so I'm definitely not a big fan of how small the applicator is and it doesn't seem like it really picks up a lot of product it's like you have to keep going back in to get more product out I was watching a, a video on Tati's channel, no not about James Charles, I was watching the one where JLo's makeup artist does her makeup and it was literally stunning. The way it turned out was so freaking beautiful and like his process was so interesting to watch. It was just like he literally put concealer and contour on before anything else and he just kind of like went in with it all so it was definitely like really interesting to see and I am just gonna try to blend this out I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this book and I'm just pushing that in It's definitely not full coverage by any means, but it has like a really nice finish to it. So I'm going to go in with my Born This Way, and I'm just going to put one like right there. Just to give it a little something extra, and I'm going to go in with a Beauty Blender to blend that out. With this concealer, you literally need like, I barely put any on, and it just blends out so smooth. A little goes a long way with this concealer. So today I definitely want to cream contour everything so before I go in and bake I'm just going to contour my face and I'm using the cream shade in the Tardiest Pro Glow palette. I used to always use only this shade to contour then I started to expanding then I started expanding my horizons and trying new things but I've always loved this I loved the shade it definitely looks a little dark but once it's blended out it'll look really nice I'm gonna go in with a stippling brush by real techniques you guys already know how much I love this the only thing I don't like about it is whenever I wash my brushes it literally sheds and I'm assuming that's because this is like a cheap brand but I hate when that happens and it all like falls out so I'm just blending that up basically into the highlight just so everything is seamless I have been like really trying to pay attention to my techniques that I use and just like like kind of like watching myself do makeup to see like what mistakes I'm making and I've noticed that I'm super and I've said this so many times super rough super harsh like I just don't understand I feel like I like think in my head I'm just in a rush I need to hurry but I really don't 
Now we're going to go right ahead and bake and I'm trying this Air Spun Loose Face Powder. I just bought this over the weekend and because I had to do some people's makeup and I could not find my RCMA powder anywhere. Of course, right when I got home after I did their makeup and bought this, I found it. But I'm actually really happy I tried this. Uh, someone recommended this to me and I love it. Oh, shoot. <gasps> I just made a huge, 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 huge mess. It comes with one of these little puffer things. And I actually want to try that when I bake. I want to just see how it works. So we're just gonna we're just gonna try it out. It feels like really light, like a really light powder. And I really like the smell a lot. That's something I could tell right off the bat. I like this, but at the same time, it's not like super flexible, so it's kind of hard to get it exactly where you need it. I might just end up going in with my beauty blender. And then right down the center of my nose. For my eyes, I had a couple people ask me some questions about this palette in the Instagram video that I did, so I'm going to recreate that look for you guys. That was actually one of my favorite looks to do, so I'm going to recreate that for you. The first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. And just focus that right in the crease. So after that, I'm going to go in with Shake It Off, which is this pink shade right here. And that just deepens up the crease. And I'm mainly focusing on the outer part of the crease. And then I'm bringing that down a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Textual. And I think I've actually, now that I'm like reading these names out loud, I think that I've definitely used this palette before. And this is like this shade right here. And I use a small, small, small amount. I'm using the same brush. And I just kind of pack that on the outer V, like really, really small amount. And I like to lift my eye up because that's what really gets in between your creases. If you have hooded lids like I do, they're a huge pain in the ass. I just really use this brush for packing and then I'll go in with a different brush after and blend that out. So then I'm going to go back in and just blend that out. Or mainly blend it together. Now I'm going to take the shade My Treat up here. The shade is so freaking pretty. And I'm going to focus that. And I'm using an angled brush like this. Kind of like an eyeliner brush. I don't know what. No, it's a brow brush. But um, I think this is way too thick for brows. But I'm using that because it's easier to get exactly where I want it. So I'm putting it in the inner corner 
like on excuse me I'm putting it on the inner corner like right on the lid and then right like in the actual inner corner So then after that shade, one more shade, and it's called Our Secret. It's this pink one right next to it. And I'm going to put that in the space between the inner corner and then the outer corner. And just make sure that they blend in together nicely. And if you have to use your finger, which... I like to do because I feel like that's easier to blend them together and just give it like that seamless look. And not even necessarily like rubbing it in but like kind of just like tapping over it makes it way more seamless. And then if you feel like it's not blended towards the outer part, then just go back in with the brush you used. Hey okay, guys, I'm so sorry. My camera, um, I don't know, just quit on me. Basically when I was about to tell you that I was going to put my lashes on anyway, so I figured I would just put my eyelashes on and do my lower lash line. And so now we're just going to brush away our little minor bake we have going on these eyelashes are gorgeous I'm freaking obsessed with them I actually just bought these they are um Eyelure um by Jasmine Brown <coughs> they're the curly queen I don't know if they're the Curly Queen lashes or if she's Curly Queen. I'm not really sure, but this is what the box looks like. And they are just really, really gorgeous and everything I could want. They remind me kind of of the Lily lashes in the style Miami, which those are so, so, so nice. And I feel like the... Um, the the Lily lashes are a little bit bigger, but um, I actually bought those ones in Style Miami. The, they're like thirty dollars for one pair of lashes. Okay, whatever. I really wanted them, so it was fine. I put them on. I fell asleep in them. Do not ever fall asleep in your eyelashes if you sleep like me, which is all over the freaking place, and it was just a huge mess. They were like scrunched to one side and I ruined them. I fell asleep before I was even going to do what I was supposed to do with the lashes on. So I literally got to wear them for probably like 5 minutes. Not really but like 15 minutes. And I was pretty, pretty disappointed but that was nobody's fault but my own. So now we're going to bronze up the face. I might as well just stick to my Tardius Pro palette, my Tardius Pro Glow palette, and I'm going to use the bronze shade um, in the shade Sculpt, and I'm just going to use this brush that you guys know I love. And we're just... Again, really, 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 really light hand. And I'm like barely even touching the face with the brush. So it's just super light handed. So now I'm going to highlight the nose since we're, since we're here. Might as well. Q. 
cute. Then using the same palette, I'm going to highlight. And I'm throwing it back with my fan brush because I feel like it's been looking really pretty with a fan brush lately. My other one was like kind of chunky and I was just over it and it was just not looking the way I wanted to. You know sometimes like you do the same things and in the beginning it looks so pretty and then after a while you're just like you just don't like it anymore like it just doesn't look the way it used to. That's how I get a lot. Like I'm just kind of semi over it. And I hate the way it, I don't do anything different. I use all the same stuff, but it just doesn't look the way that I want it to. So that happens all the freaking time. Putting some oil. Because it does not matter what season it is, what month it is, what freaking year it is. My lips are always chapped. It's just... It's just how they roll, okay? So, I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Danity Days. hope that's how you pronounce it. I was looking at my lip liners the other day and I'm like, I have so many different lip liners, but I'm like, these are all the same freaking color. I'm like, just different, like slightly different shades. So I definitely, I've been wanting one that's more like a brownish nude. Mine are usually like a peachy nude or a pinky nude, and I want one that's like a brown nude because I feel like that is like perfect for a lip liner. And then with my lip gloss, I'm just kind of pushing that up towards the lip liner. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's makeup look using the Rendezvous palette on my eyes. I definitely suggest you go and get that. It's by ColourPop, so it's probably super affordable. Probably was around $16. Super pretty, super pigmented palette. Definitely recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!